Okay, for those who watched the previous video, I'm sorry for forgetting to turn on the mic. So this one is just explaining with words what I showed over there. So hope you enjoyed this. First of all, this is how you build your koho in the right way. There is many different ways. I like three ways. The first one is my auto hitting helping koho. First of all, for those who don't know, everything, every buff that apply on koho apply on your player. So even if you see apply on player on the skill, it means it also apply to you, even if it's not it's not a party buff. So. First of all, and her switch. Basically, every time she switch, you, you switch, Koho will switch, which means you will get this buff every time you switch. And it's additional damage based on your max HP. It's a level 3 pro giant. So, it will give you a lot of HM damage if you have a lot of max HP. It's a really good buff for auto wing. There was a better skill of this kind. It's Kirito skill. I forget its name. I will show it on the end of the video. Second skill I use is I use my Awaken X skill. It gives you 2314 SGL damage attack for 15 seconds. Remember, every skill you use that is not the switch, it's randomly used by Koho. The other skill I use for adding my max HP by 18% for 10 seconds. And I use the Argo. Argo gives you flinch resistance, which means resistance to stun for by 90% and you get it for 16 seconds and you get for 16 seconds you could carry it according to your max HP that's awesome for having a lot of HP with this buff that's why I use this buff this and not attack buffing for myself there's two things you should use First of all, you should use this axe. This axe is how you start building your auto attack. I start with Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it gives you critical rate according to your max HP for 15 seconds to hit nice with your, your boss. And well, these two skills aim that important you need just to use skills to build your boost in Lifa because when you boost in the skill you get flinch resistance for 90% for th and you get additional damage according to your max HP for 13 seconds and it's a lot of additional damage for my sword I use Awaken and I use Undead Sword. Undead Sword gives you Underworld Swordman. Sorry. Give you additional damage based on your defense for 20 seconds. And it's a lot of additional damage. I also use the security mostly for the Awaken, but also for this buff. And it also builds your, your switch really nicely. This skill is really nice, but it's it gives you a lot of extra damage if you use it because it's doubled if you use the switch. So, okay, let's use the switch instead. It's so you thousand if you use the switch of additional damage. For my armor, I use three awakens and I use. Oh, yeah. You can use any two awakens you got. You just need the awaken for the buff. Arena gives you additional damage for any move to slash. I use her because I'm using so. 
Okay, let's show you how it works in action. Let's go to statues week to source this one week to slash. I hate wool. Okay. First of all, I start by building up my bust. As you see, because I have nice max HP, I get nice quits. After I builded my bust, I switched to sword. Now, if I switch, go how switch. And now, additional damage by get me to 100k damage. I lost the buff because he stunned me. Okay, anyway, this is how you build your legend damage. I hate his stunned. He, he stunned a lot. This was sucks for it. You have like three skills of stunning. He stunned every five seconds. Anyway, and for those who don't know, the blue potion removes stun. Anyway, so second build. Second build for Kohau is your, it's your spear build. Spear build is most important skill here is one wish Sachi. One wish Sachi give you a switch a damage on yeah, your damage on switch give you multiply by two point eight percent. That means a lot of damage on your switch. Some people use her for max hit on a skill. Like some people use her and use your and use some sort of stacking and mace to hit one million. I don't use this uh, strategy. I use some different st strategy and to hit two million. But yeah. I will explain what I used here. This one gives you additional damage stacking. This one gives you critical weight. This one gives you critical damage for 25%. But what's important here is when you switch, go how switch, which will give you the 284% damage. Let's put a skill that goes well with that. I think that I will go with the free Yu-Gi-Oh! I will use my skin. I will use this one. I will use this one. Okay, let's show you the skill in action. I'm in. I hate battle, but let's start with building up our switch. Okay, now if I switch, go how switch? 180k in a simple skill that I shouldn't hit this much this is how you will go out for switch damage and also you should remember that no never mind it's not for this build for next build i will explain something this is how you build switch go out. and the best build for skill attacks is in Koho is Mace. Mace build. Okay, in Mace, 
most important thing is using a switch that gives you uh, x to uh, multiply by 2 multiply your damage double your damage there is two skills for that there is this one and this one the other one is by busting so it's not useful in the uh, kuhau okay if this skill is used by switch only it give you double damage on your next skill this one if she use it normally or if she use it as a switch you get double damage so loyal hammer is way better than the overall orbit but if you don't have loyal hammer but have loyal, uh, the overall habit, orbit it's fine then I use my I use this for buffing like attack attack I will talk about this one and I give out critical weight buff now let's see how well uh, I'll pay a boss to be fine Now let's see her at statue. How she works. If I use her, I will show you in the two ways. If I use her with bow, I will lose the double damage on my switch because my skill is slow. If I use her in OPL, it will be used. Now, I will use her in OP. If I use her, look, I switch, go how switch, next attack is double damage. Now, let's build her for bow. Let's show you the difference. If I use her in bow, Look, she's attacking, I switch, she hit before me, I get the double damage on the skill. So, if you want the additional, the double damage on a skill, you should use her with a, with a you should use a fast switch. So, you hit before Kuho. And this is the mace build. This is basically the story build. I use in Koho. I always like to use the mace one. Mace one is really fun to use and easy. But when I'm using sword, I prefer to use the additional damage one because I like to slash the really high damage. So I hope you like this video. I hope I helped and good luck to everyone.